better than a leg out. Better than a leg out. Matthew Jones is in position for a long range shot. He's with it now, Matthew Jones. Here goes the kick from Jones. Welcome to the Johns Family Podcast, people. I hope you have a good week. Um, as we itch, as we itch, as we itch towards Christmas. Edge? Is that the right context? No, edge, edge is Yeah. Edging. It, it, yeah, as we itch towards uh, <laughs> Christmas. Um, God, what a festive time, what a great time. How are you, Trish? Good, thank you, Matthew. Good, thank you very much. Uh, Cooper Johns, how are you, my man? You going good? Good, good. It's good to be back in the studio with you guys. Yeah, and uh, favourite son, Jack Johns, how are you, mate? Good, good. I haven't seen you for about a week. It's, not, it's been nice. Yeah, how you been going? It's been a good week. You good? Good week? Yeah. yeah. Just, just, you know, running my own race a bit. So yeah. I mean, hey. Not no, long. But not long. Uh, isn't it boring? Honestly, last week I had no idea what to do. Mm. I was just sitting around, yeah. waiting for rugby lead to come on, and just going, "Hey, not happening," you know. I was just thinking, feels, God, like how, only, "Feels like only yesterday the grand final was on." I'm, you know, in my life I've just realised how shallow and meaningless my life is without mm. the greatest game of all, rugby league. So uh, anyway, well, I've got something interesting coming up too about the NFL. Have you? You'll, have you'll you find it. Sp- well, are there any other sports that you're looking forward to this summer? No, not cricket. I've, dro- I've dropped pretty- off cricket. Mm. I've dropped off. I've dropped off. Too long. I don't know. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I would like. I've, I absolutely loved it as a kid. I, I wouldn't even when we get, when we lived in the caravan at over the, uh, the course of the summer. I wouldn't even go to the beach. I'd just sit and watch the cricket, relentlessly. And I just. What I other summer know. sports are there that you can watch? Um, don't know. A league. Yeah, yeah, A league. Soccer. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, it's not. Mm, yeah. Maybe. NFL. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, maybe the NFL. Yeah. NBA starts up to about mid-October. Mm. Yes, it does. Now, if you're a character, any character from a fairy tale, which would you be and why? I'm going with Sleeping Beauty because you know how much I love my sleep. <laughs> and it wouldn't be bad to be woken up by a lovely prince with a lovely kiss. Oh, wouldn't that be thanks, nice? Trish. Mm. Mm. I thought about Snow White and then Scott I thought, prince. ugh. Pesky. In the well, forest makes me itchy it, with it, seven it, annoying <laughs> young men. Ugh. I've gone Esmeralda. Uh, the, oh. the ugliest of the ugly stepsisters in Cinderella. Ugly on the inside, uglier on the outside. Uh, big nose, man hands. Uh, so I jumped on Google <laughs> and had a look at the three uh, ugly stepsisters. Honestly, they could be your friends, Trish, Jackie, Lee, and Stacey. Um, honestly, they are, the similarities are unbelievable. Probably been a little rough on the ugly stepsisters. But you, you are an ass. Nah. Uh, yeah, not nice. Jack? 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 Uh, I'm with, just saying, tell the truth. Uh, I went with the Muffin Man. Uh, <gasps> the Muffin Man? Yeah. The I Muffin like, Man. Yeah, I like my cooking and... Uh, Muff. <laughs> <laughs> um, loves Muff. Edging. Cooper, you're inappropriate. Eating ass. Edging. Um, you going up. in the bin? Yeah. What's yours, Coop? Come on. I had Pinocchio. Okay. Oh, uh, oh makes sense. Could Mis- not be more perfect. Mischievous, liar, large schnoz. <laughs> uh, and a little story for you guys as well. Did you know that Disney used to turn dark stories into the sto- into yeah. what they call fairy tales? So yes, we have discussed these. Pinocchio the originally, uh, the story of how Pinocchio went, he actually murdered uh, Jimity Cricket, <gasps> which is his, Jimity little cricket, his little friend. And then the uh, town... Burnt his feet off and hung him and left him out to, to die. That's very. I, I feel that I've actually seen that. <laughs> so I said this in a previ- previous episode. The world becomes so sanitised because kids these days always need to have the ending wrapped up neatly in a nice little present, nice little bow, where they, you know, it's like having a race, right? And the the kid wins and the kid who who comes dead last, you know, and almost gets lapped, still gets a trophy. Do you know no. what? Shush. No, but it's no. like these fairy tales. I like the better. Encouragement, I liked Matthew. it better. I liked it better like in Hansel and Gretel when the witch won. They upset it. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's right. Cuts Luke's hand off. Yeah, he does. I'm your father. Um, Guys, what about the – and just a little preview. Uh, Dad and Mum have done one, but I'll be doing a song at the end of this. Oh, Uh, I can't wait. About bloody time. You'll be next, Jack. And Jack will be after Start preparing. Oh, yeah. That'll be awesome. Because we've only got a few more weeks left of the pod. Yeah. Mm. No, we did. Uh, Matthew, you've got a funny yarn from this week. Tell us about your sweet mother, Gail, giving you a phone call. Oh, hang on. I'm the only one that didn't receive the call. Trish received the oh, call. The voicemail. You boys received the call. I didn't. Now tell the listeners, my mother Gail, what she rang about. Um, she got her ancestry.com DNA testing back, which we had discussed before, and I and she goes, um, just letting you know, um, it's come back with connections to uh, Cooper 
and Matthew and Ma- and, Ma- and Matthew is our son. <laughs> And, like it was some sort of and surprise. And she sent the message like, through. She oh. did not send it. Like it wasn't it's sent in jest. It was done Very completely seriously. serious. I played it to Matt. I looked at me and went, was there some question? I went, I like, don't know. Was there? Got the feeling that Gail, uh, well, Gary might have had some questions whether I was yeah. his. And when you watch my relationship and the difference between uh, myself and my siblings, I can understand why people might think that – my father is not Gary. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Except that you look exactly like him. Yeah, yeah, but maybe it's the other two. And maybe, act. maybe it's the other two that uh, and the bull jump exactly, the fence. You act exactly like him as well. I oh, yeah, do not carry on. I do not. <laughs> no, he's getting more like his dad every day. Yeah, he does. And if I ever want to get under his skin, that's all I have to mm. say. Um, interesting. <laughs> through the week, I get tipped off by someone that. Um, uh, with Penrith winning the grand final, and my God, the Penrith fans, they just love it out there. They're great supporters. But this couple had a newborn, twins, and they named uh, the two boys Sattler and Royce oh. after Scotty Sattler and Roy Simmons. Yeah. How good is that? They're nice <laughs> that names, is... thank God. And, of course, the kid who's playing lock uh, this year for uh, the South Sydney Rabbits and a hell of a player is named after Gordon, Talis Duncan. Yeah. 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 Anyone else? We know. Well, there was a kid who played anyone? lower grades at Penrith called uh, Matty John. Remember that? Really? Yes. Oh, yes. Was, yeah. I played with Matty John. He was yeah. a Dragons junior. Yes, yes he was. Yeah. Yeah. His name was Matheson Johns. Yes. We called him Matty Johns. Mm. Yeah. Good on him. He was good, a good fella. Not a bad fella. Great fella. Mm-hmm. He's uh, okay. Got a photo one day. Something from our week. We I got a bit of feedback during the week. We spoke a few weeks back about a pokey's win uh, that I had down at the Harbour Hilton. One of our listeners had listened to that, went to sleep, had a dream that me, Dad, and him went down to the pokies in his dream, and he won the grand seventeen thousand dollars. Right. Woke up thinking it was real, and Uh-oh. then went and found out. Obviously, he didn't have any money in his wallet, and found out he actually dreamt it, and was apparently he was ropeable. Mm. That afternoon, <gasps> went and chucked a pineapple through the pokey machine and? at the end of his local, seven grand, not oh, seventeen thousand, but seven, seven grand. grand or major. Uh, no, he won the grand. But oh, wow. Uh, good on him. That's just wow. one of those things where... That's freaky. Listen to us. Listen to us. We'll win your money. Do you know, Matt had um, a premonitionary um, dream once. Mm. Do you remember? No. Mm. Actually, it wasn't you. It was a woman at the gym ran right up one. to you. Do you remember? Many years ago, um, you'd ridden the bike to the gym and almost got hit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then after that, you wouldn't ride the bike anymore. Yep. yep. And the, remember, the woman came up to you. That's right. Remember, it was freakish. Yep, she did. Yeah. Do you remember what the details uh, were? Yeah, the details were. She goes, "Have you been?" Um, she goes, "I had a dream the other night that you were riding a bike and got hit by a bus." Yeah. And I was, ni- I nearly. It was a bus that ran me off the road. Mm. Yeah. The guy I was, I was riding along in a in, in a bus zone, but the the guy had pulled over. And like the guy pulled over, so I've gone, okay, I'll just go around him. And I've gone around him. Well, as he's out, and he's seen me. And suddenly, rather than just let me go so I can sort of get on, he's actually put the foot down and he's trying to push me into traffic. I, ra- I rang the uh, the bus depot and said, mate, mm. I've got the number. This was – I heard nothing else. I've, but I'm just I have going, to say, I'm, I'm not massive on a lot of bus drivers. Well, be careful yeah. with the buses, Trish. I'm not. They're, I'm not they're a tight knit. Mm. They're a tight knit community. You don't no. want to offend the buses. Well, I've got the buses, some friends. We've got a couple of friends who are bus drivers. Yep. But some of them, just because they like you know, the sign on the back that says "Give way to bus drivers," mm. doesn't mean you just pull out. I'm not massive on cyclists. Just quietly. Mm. Uh, those, those, oh, they're vicious. They Be just careful sit what you say there. Yeah, but they just sit there in a big... I hate the big groups in the mornings yeah. and they take a whole lane up and then they blow up when you try to go past them. Yeah. And they go, on oh, that slow. They're that unfit well, some and are. slow. <laughs> do you know... Um, in their little cycle tights. Do you know how you do uh, like nasty reviews? I was, yeah. I was listening to a podcast the other day with these American guys and what they do is they get on sites about they'll jump on newspaper stories about iconic people and just go to the comments and just say oh, how, how ridiculous they are. So he said there was a story the other day on Sir Paul McCartney and people were jumping on because people, you know, haters just want to actually hate them people, just going, oh, overrated. Other people going, who? Sorry, uh, is this a celebrity? Oh, mate. Yeah, you, and just what, hammering What do you him. think about those people? Are they just Yeah, people say, sad? oh, they're just sad. Are they people. just sad? 
There's weirdos. A, it's pe- absolutely. You know what? Me and Jack were talking about the other day. The people that like comment negative things yeah. on Facebook posts, mm. they're a different breed. Yeah, they're, or TikTok. They're, they're a different if breed. If you're still yeah. on Facebook, like, you're a yeah, different breed. Yeah, that's right. Like exactly. Facebook, if you're on Facebook scrolling and you see a post about a match result or a sport, something to do with sport, anything, just anything, and you look at the comments and there's a bloke in there commenting just something negative or just mm. his own opinion, what's the point? What's the point of even putting yeah. your opinion on the post? The rest yeah. on there, who, but, who yeah. actually cares? But they think that they do. This yeah. is the they're so irrelevant that that's why they do it. Well, here's here's something for years ago. We're on the free show. Um, Sterlo and Fatty used to get this hate mail through Rodder. And this is why people do it. They'll get hate mail from this guy and started off fairly innocent, well, innocent, like you guys, you know, you guys suck, etc. Et anyway, then the letters started to get nastier and nastier, then darker and darker. And suddenly there was ones getting sent in and the guy wrote the letter, but the lettering was coming back like he'd gone over each letter about eight times. Oh, which and they is- just went to the police and they said, no, that's got to think about this now because the guy has written the letter and not getting not gotten satisfaction so written the letter over, over the top of the letter eight times to try to get the hate out of him did they did they <laughs> find the crazy <laughs> man no 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 mm. i don't think they did but once they kept sending letters in and he got the idea that they weren't reading them they were onto him so this blo- this person sent this beautiful like christmas letter in on this stuff and they went oh how good is this <laughs> and it was time. like opened up and it was the letter ha gotcha <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Oh. A bit like who would get on with Sir Paul McCartney, who is this icon, and then go, "Oh, who's this? Don't know, not overrated." And you go, "Oh my god!" Well, if, if you hate someone after write a letter, I mm. I can back that. I can back that. Yeah. Back what? I can back that. If you if you if you're willing to write a letter in, that's how passionate you are who's, about it. Who's Fair got enough. that? Pa- time Facebook's to waste. just too easy for people. That's they've it. just yeah. got no yeah. yeah. Letter. If you no want it, that's it, people. Go if, enjoy your life. If you really want to have an impact on a person, write them a ha- nothing like a handwritten <laughs> letter. Yeah. yeah. Serious. Okay. In the good like in the good old days, I'd say a hate mail. Yeah, uh, write in blood or something like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, uh, hey, hey Jack, <laughs> can I just say this to people? And it's a thing for the NRL to consider. The NFL at the moment, like they are marketing geniuses. So if you get on Foxtel and then in turn ESPN at the moment, the NFL have got the NFL that has started. But what they've spun off into, they've actually spun into the NFL in official other competitions such as the dog NFL. Mm. So the dog is real dogs getting there, and they're competing, <gasps> oh, trying to grab the toys, then trying to run down like a, a a shoot. If they go there, it's touchdown. But they don't know how to play the dogs. No, nah, the dogs are just playing, but people are cheering. And mate, an even strange one the other day, me and Jack are sitting. It's called NFL Toy Story Edition, mm. where it's literally a computer game, but it's. Sh- Toy Story, it's the bizarre. young in Toy I don't, Story. Yeah. What was his Andy, you, So they're, they're yeah. kicking. Like, so like it's like a virtual. It's like watching trackside for in the NFL, right? And they're kicking like field goals after a touchdown's been scored, and they're like, "Oh, that's a goal!" Here we are in Andy's room. Like it's the, the it's field. Like a full field inside Andy's room, oh, and, wow. and it's played by toys, and like so everything's that- referred to. Like we're at Andy, we're in, like instead of saying we're at. You know, this stadium. We're in Andy's room. Where's it on? Yeah, it's on ESPN, ESPN. on yeah. Foxtel. What? But what they do, they they don't commentate on it as if oh, it's a joke. They sort of do it slightly more for the for the kids on it. But they're the real teams. So it's like Cleveland Browns versus Baltimore <laughs> Ravens. And they'll go, now in this edition, we're going to understand if he doesn't hit the first down, the rules are. So it is a serious computer game. Of NFL, but they've designed it wholly and solely for kids, for the next generation that come through. That's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's like a, Buzz and Woody, like the quarterbacks and yeah, stuff. Yeah, Buzz Rothfield, no, Dean no. Ritchie. <laughs> nah, they're just like cartoon version, like, like toy versions of players. Oh, just okay. Playing. So it wasn't the actual characters. No, no, they, no. They, okay. yeah. It was it's quite bizarre. genius. Well, that's very yeah, good. It's, mm. it's different. So I think we should do the same for rugby league. Yeah. Rugby. Well, you could see that as an avenue, like team, teams would go down and competitions would go down. Like, why stop? If you've got a team a successful franchise and a successful successful brand. Here's the off-season. Why stop in the NFL? Why not branch into other things? Yeah, yeah that's right. If there's why a dog competition, true. why not? Yeah, yeah. it's well, a new got, market. They've got a summer competition at the moment because Vince McMahon and a few other guys brought in the XFL, so they went back and tried to deuce him and said, no, so there's a summertime league in the NFL now. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's weird. Mm. Cooper's nasty for you, review no. for this week. No. What? I haven't spoken about my week. Yeah, go on, oh, Trish. Go. Did you even care? Not really. Yes. We had enough, I thought. Well, go. <laughs> Matt's been fubbing me. 
What's that? Do you know what that is? Like Fabio? No, fubbing me. So we're out at Talk lunch or it. somewhere and he's looking directly down at his phone and not at me. <sighs> It's a big faux pas. Oh, what is, what's sorry. that word? What are the two words you've put together there? It, no, it's not my word. It's it's, it's an actual but accepted it, word. Fubbing. P-H-U-B-B-I-N-G. Yeah, so like oh, phone snubbing. Phone snubbing. Ah, is that, that would be what mm, it is. Very okay. good. I didn't think about mm, that. Mm, mm. Oh, um, didn't think about a lot of things. Mm. No, no. I often try not well, to. Well, phone and the ring. other day, Fimming. I was driving <laughs> into the city and I was... What? <laughs> Fimming. That's the other one, there, the latest word. And what is that? I was what? looking at your phone while you're rimming something. <laughs> <laughs> so what you do is you get, just rude. You, no, you get you get a uh, the the phone stand and put it sort of the small of the back and <laughs> you, <laughs> you're, recording, you're recording yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, Sorry, just yeah, really. Get into yeah, the, the next part. Jesus. So anyway, I was driving behind a van and the sign on the back says "caution, blind driver." I'm like, what? What the hell? And then I realised as I passed him, because I wanted to get right away from him, um, it was actually a blind company, like a Venetian blind company. Oh. But clever marketing, right? Oh, Could have wow. been twofold. Could I have been know. blindness in short of scene or absolutely blind. <laughs> 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 I don't know. It, it seemed to be painted on. It wasn't like a sticker. Ever since I've been driving, I hated um, – driving alongside trucks, I always mm. try and get away from them. And the other thing is um, anything with a pole or something hanging off the back because I'm worried it will come through my windscreen. Oh, yeah. And the other one is, which then happened that day, was uh, a truck with port on it just in case he stops oh, suddenly yeah. and they come oh. tipping all over They wouldn't be filled yeah. though, would they? No, I don't know. They wouldn't be pooing them. I don't no, know. No, I'm not, they, I'm, I'm I'm not about big water. on pee either. Mm. Oh, but they'd be empty. Oh, they, sure. they empty them out. Do you yeah. reckon? Mm. Yeah. Oh. For sure, uh, you'd have to. Because there's more weight on the back of the... They would yeah. take it. Do they to. take it in one of those, like, tanker trucks, like the the ex- excrement, mm. and then I, before they move... Use it as fertiliser, why not? So what, are you, <laughs> what don't you like driving behind Trish, or in front? I'm with you when you're driving along and coming one way, you've got a truck or a bus, and but then on the other side of you, you've got a truck or a so bus. So you're trapped. And you're sort of yeah. trapped and you're sitting there going, mate, mm. I freeze. Mm. I don't like going up... As I'm, I whenever I go on the side now, I just like just shoot past them as quick as I can because when I was in Melbourne, a big truck I was driving on the free on the Monash freeway, and he must have seen me and just tried to edge into my lane, and I just had to slam the brakes and get back before he like pushed me into the railing. Yeah. Uh, so now I just fly up the side of them because I, I mean just, it's it's a lot. We have a lot of truck drivers as listeners, I have to say, and. It's a hard job because oh. there's so there's all those gears to get through. So if someone cuts in in front of you as a truck driver quickly, they can't slow down. Mm. Yeah. So we as drivers need to be aware of what their limitations the are. Fe- as well. Yeah, the fear is more about like their limitations. Of yeah. What, 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 yeah. Such a big vehicle. Mm. Mm. And I freak out if these, you know, these double ones. Oh yeah. That's a lot of area to have to cover. And right. Like hitting, spatially. And for them, hitting deadlines too. Yeah, oh, they put unrealistic deadlines on the truckies sometimes. It makes it very, very, very hard. Yeah, I, I don't like uh, like m- motorbikes or uh, not so much driving behind. But when you're in a lane and they're going up through the middle, are they oh, allowed to do that? I don't know, but yeah. sometimes That's, they get that close to you, yeah. especially when you're driving in the city in Sydney. Oh, they get that close to you, and your, you don't see them to your side mirrors because they're on your like the opposite to the driver's, the passenger side. Mm. Often, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I but I got can't a re- see how that's I've legal. got a lot of respect for people that ride motorbikes, particularly in groups. <laughs> <laughs> my name's like Bendito, we love them. We love our listeners. And thanks. Uh, we love them. Cooper's nasty review this week had uh, a listener actually send this one in. It was when he was watching the grand final, he went into wherever his local was and got a little bit drunk, belligerent. On the way home, decided to Uber Eats himself a pizza. And when he got home, found out the pizza was just, it had no toppings or anything on it. So it was just basically a complete base, like with nothing on it. And he complained. He sent a nasty review to Uber Eats saying, this is ridiculous. I've ordered this pizza and nothing's come on it. They, mm. co- they got in touch with his driver. He ended up getting a refund and a free pizza. So they've delivered him a pizza back. All was well. He pumped the pizza, went to throw both boxes out. Turns out uh, the box was actually upside down when he opened it. And he was so <laughs> he was so drunk that he it Did was just realize? the bottom of the base and he thought it was completely <laughs> sense. Scott, wa- no. Scott drank water. Seriously, oh, all these excuses no. you continue to come up with. Actually, Marfu once, we were out. Uh, <laughs> we actually left a night out, went to a pizza joint, had a pizza. He wasn't satisfied. 
So what he did was he Uber Eats himself three different pizzas. He got a Mexican pizza, uh, a cheese pizza, and a tandoori chicken pizza. I remember he went home. The next day I get a text, hey, mate, something really weird happened. I woke up uh, in the middle of the night uh, to someone knocking at my door. (laughs) He goes, "Uh, it it turns out uh, I forgot about my pizzas. I fell asleep and the dog was into them. Oh, Oh, I know. Yeah. I hope uh, there's no onion on those pizzas. I don't know. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it would have been. Max would have had it Great. for sure. Yeah. Ooh. Ten to um, one. Well, let's go to a quick Ooh. break Nasty. and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the podcast. Jack, your music segment. We had a brilliant one last week. What have you got this week? This week we've got the exact same segment. Uh, oh, two wow. seconds, you get a chance to go answer in with your answer. Don't buzz because I don't like giving you time. Yeah. If you say an answer, you're out for the rest of that song because... If it's wrong. Uh, you took the risk, you took a chance, and it didn't come off. Pay the price. Uh, okay, first song, Dangerous. Downhearted. Ah, down, ah, Cooper like Johns. Downhearted. Did yeah. you actually say hearted? Yeah. Oh, God damn, I didn't hear that. <laughs> One point to Cooper Johns. <laughs> no, he said down. I just heard him say down. Down, down. <laughs> Deeper and down. down. Shout out status quo. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh. Second song, Dangerous. September. Oh, oh, Cooper bastard. Johns. Cooper Johns on fire. Cooper? Moving fast, yeah, and Cooper Johns is moving quick. Cooper. Did you come down here and check these earlier? Oh, yeah. no, uh, no. It's the it's it's easy. If you got it, shit, I could easily. No, Hang on, see. They're written here. You aren't looking, are you, mate? No, I'm not looking. Mm. I can't understand your handwriting anyway. Yeah, I can't I, either. He should have been a doctor. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Third song, dangerous. Mm-hmm. Press that again. Mm. What is it? Ah, <laughs> oh, come together. Oh, bugger me! Nice copper. Well done, wow. Cooper Johns wins today. Well done, Coops. Two one zero. Oh. Sorry, Trish, you mate, you didn't back it up after I'm last a, week. I'm a last com- week you had, you put in one of the great efforts. I'm yeah. a complete failure. Like no. this is actually my <laughs> oh, gift, geez. and I'm losing. Trish, yeah, we, I we, might as well give up now. Be more like Penrith. Mm. Go back to back to back. Keep mm. that desire. Keep losing back to back to back. Mm. Three Pete. You know what? People don't have kids. Mm. Yeah, it's Whoa. overrated. <laughs> uh, Trishy, take control, Lee. France has been infested by my worst nightmare, bed bugs. Oh, France. Home, yeah. cinemas, hospitals, like on the um, the oh. metro, everything. Where do they Disgusting. come from? Where do they come from, do you think? They what? were big in New York. Mm. I know that. Fr- I know someone who actually mm. has had bed bugs in their house. They had to throw everything out and have everything in um, fumigated. Do you know who I blame for this, for the bed bugs in France? Eddie Jones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a rugby yeah. union thing. It's They're all over call. there it's at a, the it's, moment. It's Eddie Jones's fault. So Every, everything everything is. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, they, don't forget the Olympics is over there next year. Yeah, God. In Paris. And if it's it in... Uh, yeah, yeah, Can I ask a question? I'll be competing a little bit. Do bugs. French men still not wear deodorant, Trish? Because that was a big thing, wasn't it? I don't know. It? The French used to... Yeah, the men... Did they not? They, it was a big thing. They would not... Wear deodorant because they're always oppositional. The French are the French really rude. There's a question. No, I I haven't found it, but lots of other people who I respect um, have said that they've been quite rudely treated. Yeah. I don't know why I don't, but they think I'm Italian mm, right. when I go there, so they don't see me as a foreigner, foreigner as much. Yeah, I've never had a I've never had an encounter with anyone from France that is rude. To do be you, honest, yeah, but do you, you look Spanish. Do you, <laughs> no, do you reckon they do you reckon <laughs> when you talk when you, when you have a beer with them at the pub? Do you reckon they think you're an Aussie or what? <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, well, I, to be fair, I can't understand them. So who <laughs> knows what they might be saying. Right. Look at this little um. short ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Anything else? Mm. Um, there was a woman called Joy Kenny who was denied entry into the Philadelphia baseball stadium as she wanted to take her pet alligator in. She was trying to say it was her emotional support pet. Oh, God. That's all right. right. I tell you, you reckon... How big, how, how big big's was a pet? Oh, it couldn't be. She's holding it. Yeah. It yeah. Oh, no, it's probably on a lead. It was a novelty one. I had sunglasses on, but still. I'm <laughs> hang on a second. Hang on a second. On. They only have a small burst of energy, crocodiles. Yeah, Do they? Yeah. I don't think it's going to be sitting there on a lead. Uh, going so do you think walks. she's carrying it? Oh, it would have been a baby alligator in like a purse. It would have been small. You get those still, tiny ones you can just hold. Mm. Still, do you know what happens? You let one in, next minute people will bring crocodiles in, like man eaters, so you yeah. just can't mm. do it. They I multiply. Tr- I try to talk Charlie. Take, uh, I took uh, Charlie for a walk and I thought to myself, such a beautiful day. And I said, I thought, I want to go and have a beer. So I walked into the Collaroy with Charlie and they said, oh, Maddie, we don't have allowed dogs in here because most bars do. Yeah. Yeah, so I just tied Charlie up at the front and just sat there and got blind. She <laughs> no, would I never did. allow no, that. I, and I would not do that to her. You couldn't leave her out the front of anywhere. She, oh. would, she would bark Gav's and carry just, on. Gav's just put a picture up. It's pretty big. It's yeah. about a metre. It is yeah. on a lead and do it's on think, a lead. Do you th- think that it's like um, rather than emotional support, more like a 
protection. Security. Protection, yeah, security duty. Yeah, I think so. Um, and Napoli striker Victor Osimhen. Yep. yep. Um, the club put out a TikTok video of him missing a penalty. Mm. He's now going to sue the club for mockery. Wow. Can you do really? that? Really? Well, crazy. I don't know. World's Are you going to give it a shot? I get. I know plenty of blokes that have gotten angry at the social media uh, By people clubs. for putting certain things, like for putting things like that up. Like, um, I think one of the, a few weeks back, one of the um, NRL pages put up a picture, put up a video of someone scoring a try, and rather than celebrating the try, they said, "What about this missed tackle from this player?" Oh, they who pointed, had scored? Uh, no, who had not missed scored? So tackle. who the person who had missed the tackle, and rather oh. than and sort of made a mockery out of him, mm. and it was a big uproar as well amongst the players. There was a Did lot of people. Did you say and who who put it out? Uh, I don't want to name them, but it was one of the like NRL Instagram pages. Oftentimes, over what happens is it's people who are running those that really don't understand the game or haven't played the game and mm. say, oh, I'll just put this up. Yeah, and it's it. not meant to be nasty. It's just a lack of understanding. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, Matthew, predicament of the week. We missed it last week. Oh, I yeah. think we've got two this week. Yeah, I have. I've decided like I was just in the mood and I was penning them down. Of course, we're getting close to the finish line. I thought, you know what? Give the fans what they want. Give them two. <laughs> First one. <clears throat> this is simple. You can either be the lead singer of U2, hence Bono, uh, you can be Harry Styles, you can be Taylor Swift, or you can be the lead singer of the Spin Doctors, Chris Barron. <laughs> Shout out for Pocket Full of Kryptonite, which is a complete turd of the song. <laughs> right, is it Bono, Harry Styles, Taylor Swift, or Chris Barron? Is that which, the, is that? It? Yep, that. Come on, which one do you want to be? Harry Styles. Harry Styles. Mm. I think even I want to be Harold Styles. Har- Harold? <laughs> oh. Well, Harold Styles. <laughs> Sorry. You are Harry so old. Styles. That is the oldest oh. thing I've heard you say. <laughs> it's Harold Styles here. How are you? Sh- 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 I might be having a mini stroke and you're not even looking after me. I've gone Bono. I, I, I've gone Bono. Cause yeah, but he's at the end of his career, not the beginning. Yeah, but to be in a band, travelled around all together. And, yeah, you know, but Harry Styles is like... Ve- like he's very modern cool yeah. like one of those old school cool yeah but like Harry Styles is, is cool amongst everyone did you see the new live venue the U2 yeah, 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 yeah the yeah, Sphere yeah. the Sphere in, is it in Vegas, Vegas? Yeah. it is we saw it being insane built in Vegas, yeah. so we're going do you know because because they're doing a, um, a what do you call it when you're residency. There a residency yeah. so what's happened is uh, to let people on, I've maybe mentioned this we're going over for to uh, Vegas in late February for uh, no, round December. zero, round zero. Oh. But we're also being sent over by the NRL. They said they're looking for traveling, traveling ambassadors to go over early. So myself, Gordy, Fletch, and Hindy are sending us over in December, and uh, we've got uh, we're going to uh, see you two at the Sphere. Oh, really? Yeah. How good yeah. is that? Yeah, it's good. Look at you. Thanks for bragging about that. Tur- <laughs> t- look, you turned all green. Yeah. Uh, I hope the structural integrity of the Imagine, imagine you, is good. imagine you, Cobra, after a few beers. You reckon you get really uh, drinking all your, you know your. Yeah. Everything's going to get a bit messy. In oh, your eye line. yeah! All the, just all the the strobing and everything. Oh, it's crazy. insane, isn't it? Is there oh. is there a seizure danger? That's a a that would be. Absolutely. Uh, there would be warnings. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Uh, the second one. Second predicament of the week. Simple. I said that the same one before. Mm. Maybe not simple. Mm. Right, you've won a competition. Okay, you've, you've won a competition. Now you can have ten million dollars in your hand right now. It's yours. Bang, ten million dollars. Or you can flip a coin, heads or tails. If you pick correct, a hundred million dollars. If you pick wrong, you're a million dollars in debt. What do you take? 10 million. So ten million in the hand right now, or you can flip a coin, heads or tails. Pick correct, a hundred million. Wrong, a million in debt. Ten, oh, ten million. I'm taking the ten in the hand. Oh, hang on a second. Look at the other bloke. <laughs> Look at the bloke with the blue eyes Cooper, could over there. Could you live with yourself? If I was a million dollars in debt. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I could. Yeah. Pay it off slowly, thirty year loan or something. Yeah, okay. So okay, I make prob- your decision. Oh, I've got a feel I've got butterflies in my stomach just thinking about it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go I'd flip the coin. <gasps> I think I'd flip the coin. As your mother I'm and I'm going heads. Dave's nodding. Dave's saying he's gonna flip the coin. Yeah. What about you, Gavin? No, nah, 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 take Gav's taking the ten. What are man. you going? What are you going? Heads? Yeah, yeah I'm going heads. Who's got well. a coin? Yeah, let's go. Right out. Where the hell is the coin? Right out. I've got a coin here. Let's flip it. Oh, so, so, so what are you Dave? going, Dave? Heads? Yeah, I'm heads. Oh, you're both heads? No, we're, both, we're not going against Whoop. each other. No, no. Yes. Dave starts. Dave, one at a time. Dave's first. Okay. This is to see if you get your 100 so million. So 100 million or a million in debt. Here we go. 
Heads, Dave. Oh, Come on, you best friend, Dave. <laughs> Congratulations. Hoopsie, uh, what are you going? Heads. Come on. Tails! Oh, oh, no. Did you lose it, John? Dave, oh. can you pay my million dollar bill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a good bloke. Oh, wow. Or well, maybe he would. Wow. Maybe. <laughs> that feels that, good. That is good. Yeah, well, there you go. There's a lesson, Cooper. Don't do that. Good predicament, no, it Matt. It's fun. I don't that even, was a good I predicament, even, Matt. I don't even care about losing the money. It was fun. Actually, in the future, <laughs> I'd like ones that we can then reenact like that. Yeah, Matthew, it's good. if you could think about well that. Okay, note taken. Mm. Jack, of the week for this week. Yeah, mate, of the week. I've gone with uh, there's a lot of live music coming up mid October. Uh, so this this weekend and uh, the following weekend coming up. So I've decided to let the listeners know what's going on in Sydney at the moment. I love so it. Uh, sure. Niall Rogers and Sheik coming out the 23rd of October oh, and more theatre. Who are they? Niall Rogers. Niall Rong, uh, Rogers is the most prolific mm. songwriter of all time. Yeah. What? And Noel, Noel Rogers did, uh, he's in the song Get Lucky, Daft Punk, and he's the guitarist. Mm -hmm. And then get Sheik's got that lucky. song. Yeah. Yeah, what's that song, Trish? Sing it for us. Get up and up, get lucky. Oh, oh no, no, no. The Sheik. Get lucky. Let's see. I'll just go on to the next band. <laughs> uh, the Chicks. Get They're at uh, Kudos Bank. Big, big oh, venue. I would have uh, loved to have seen them. On the 19th of October. Happy Mondays. Oh, yeah. 20th of October at the Enmore. I can't mm. believe I'm uh, going to miss that. What's their, what's their mate that gets on the uh, parties with them? Oh, uh, the Bez. 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 What's that show where he and his mate, that Bez, are in... Well, there's uh, a book. There's a big book they just released. I just saw it in a bookshop the other day. He's there's, a, there's a show. Mm. They have yeah. a show where they sit and watch and tell they're, they're on UK Celebrity Gogglebox. Gogglebox, Where they sit there like that. Uh, if you want to know the stories of Happy Monday, Sean Ryder, who's the lead singer, his brother Paul, who passed around recently, his ex-wife sat down with him like a 13-part uh, 13 13 series about his life growing up and them going into the Happy Mondays. and It's pretty wild. It's yeah. very good. The uh, And then... Uh, this weekend coming up, mm. uh, the 14th, 15th of October, DMAs at the Enmore Theatre. Oh, cool. Yes. Oh. yes. Tommy and Odell. Yes. And nice. the boys. And Jack, can we just mention your birthday this weekend too? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. On Sunday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thanks, Trish. One of the loveliest thanks. days of my life. Yeah. Incre great. What an incredible time that was, Trish. I know. You know, right. we were talking about the grand final last week. To win the grand final. 97 oh, in the, the manner in the manner which we did and then Jack born a week later good and on you mate and you know, thing, you. you know the thing about it was Jack is that I thought the grand final was just the best thing in the world and when you were born I looked down and said okay, you know what's true what people say this beat it oh. yeah. and then and then you were born and I looked down and went that's true what people say oh, oh I'm second child <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm oh. only joking of course uh, Matt have you course. have you come up with a here's shit you can impress your mates with this week uh, unfortunately, Cooper, I haven't. Oh, you haven't? No, I, I, I haven't. <laughs> I'm thinking on my feet for a second if there's anything else out there, but no, at the moment I haven't. It's okay. I, I can get apologize. into Cooper's quiz, and if you Go think of anything it. afterwards, feel free to Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, I'm guys, missing your before I do Cooper's quiz, I wanted to try a magic trick on you guys, if that, if you guys don't mind. So, um, just feel free to play along here, and for the listeners, feel free to play along too. Okay, guys, everyone, I need your eyes up for the magic trick. Gotcha. What is what's this word? Bubble. So everyone say it Bub out loud. Bubble. Jack. Bubble. Thank you. What's this word? Ocean. Ocean. That's ocean. Ocean. And what's this word, guys? Water. 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 Okay. That's, 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 Alec is out. Okay. Pick a number between zero and fifty in your head, all of you, but it has to be odd. Both letters, both digits have to be odd, mm. and they can't be the same digit. Okay? Yeah. You guys okay so with that? between 1 and 50. 1 and 50? Yep. Both digits odd, 1 and 50. I'm going to write down what I think is the answer. Let me just look into both of everyone's eyes for a second, okay? Okay. Can each of you say your numbers? 31. 33. You weren't allowed to use double digits. It's oh. the same digit. Pick another okay, one. Okay, sorry. 44. No, oh my God. Oh, shit. Had to be odd <laughs> and you couldn't repeat oh. the digit. 13. Oh, no, no. I'm not just, oh. Let me think. Um, okay, the, the magic tricks. 17. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Why is this so it's, hard? Um, 13. <laughs> Jack, 30. what was yours? 37. 
It's 30, I got 37. It's I supposed to be 37. I don't know why it didn't work on you guys, but did you get 37, Dave? Yeah. Gav, did you play along? It's 17. Okay. Yeah, why, how, yeah. Okay. You've, you've missed one vital ingredient. No, no, no. Up. I did it exactly as the man did it, and it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. I got two. Two out of it, Apparently, it works two out of five times. Oh, wow. So crazy. Yeah, apparently. How many odd numbers are there? <laughs> don't know. I don't know. Because you could have had 13, you could have had 17, you could have had 19. Um, yeah. No, 20s, 30, we 31. Don't need, we don't need to go yeah, through it. I it's don't okay. <laughs> don't think about it too much. Well, well, it's, it's, you know what it is? It's somewhere in, in those don't words, it is the issues. art of suggestion, mm. the manoeuvre. There was that, that TV series on... Uh, the New York Jets start of the year. Aaron Rodgers going there. Hard knocks. They got a guy who came up and just did the art of suggestion. Did the most unbelievable things I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm going to keep working on it. And yeah. Yeah, what, what was the point of the words? Don't know. It's just yeah. what the dude on the video did. Yeah. Where was the magic? Just to try and throw you. Trying to get thir- I got 37 on you. Where was the magic? Pick the number. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you and Dave. just play the odds, bro. Yeah. No, yeah but was it, is there like what? There's eight options. What no, it's, more than Jack, that. It's the power of suggestion. What's the Mar- <laughs> What's the Margot Robbie and Will Smith movie called Focus? Focus. Yeah. yeah. It's the art of suggestion. Yeah, we're maneuvering yeah. someone. Yeah. Fifty-five. Mm. Anyway, uh, okay. Cooper's quiz. Cooper's quiz for this day is fact or cap. We did that a while back. I'm going to say a story. You guys say whether it's fact or cap. You're a very good liar, though. It's really hard, Cooper. Okay. First one. <laughs> Ronaldo had a friend once, well, still his friend, Albert Fran Trow. I think I'm giving him justice when I say that. Uh, he, sac- he actually sacrificed, when they were 15 or 14, sacrificed his spot in the academy squad uh, in order to give Ronaldo his spot. So a scout rocked up at their game, and these two were sort of neck and neck for the spot. And he said, whoever scores the most goals, they're both playing in the front forward position. Whoever scores the most goals will get the spot. And they both scored a goal apiece, and his mate assisted him, could have scored it himself, assisted him, basically gave him the goal. I'm going to say fact. No. I haven't finished the story, oh. darling. Just let me just finish it. Anyway, uh, years later, they interviewed his friend. He used to take him to all the games. He interviewed his friend, like uh, whatever the network was, interviewed him. And they said, do you ever make it professionally? And he said, no. And they said, why did you do that? And he said, because Ronaldo had a better work rate and was a better player. I knew he'd be, he'd be a better chance of actually getting out of here and making it. And he had this beautiful house and they asked him in the interview, why do you have such a beautiful house? He said, Ronaldo actually bought it for me because of what I did back then. I, fact or cap? I'm going fact. And I really hope it's true. Cap. Cap. Yep. It's cap. It's um, full of shit. The reason cap. about it Aww. is the fact that all the stuff I've heard about Ronaldo when he was a kid in Midiera in Portugal, which is a colony off Africa, he was a freak to start with. So they would not say to the you or you if they're both that good. Smart man. This man who does his research, it is Cap. Oh, yeah. and I'd have loved that to have been a nice oh, story. No, yeah. Albert, I don't even think he's a real man. Yeah, and <laughs> I was going to say, and what we know about Ronaldo, I don't think he'd be that gracious. How much, oh, um, is he not? Is so did you not? make all that up or did you get the basis of something? I found these off something. Right, okay, because I was going to say it's like half a no, script I'm, ready. I'm, mm. not, I'm not that. Ronaldo, 50 metres off being Australian. Okay, mm. really? Awesome. Cool. 50 metres? Next one? Yep, 50 metres off being Australian. What was he? Can born in the that? ocean? He was a swimmer. He, <laughs> no, his parents were, were on the tarmac with his grandparents. His grandparents lived most, well, their elderly life in Perth. His parents, when his mum was pregnant with him, they were 50 metres from boarding the plane for Australia and his dad said, I can't do it, and they turned back and... He couldn't leave the island of oh, Mediera. Yeah. Mm. So it wasn't 50 metres. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean, I get you. Yeah, it wasn't okay. off our coast. Number two. Mm. There was a girl in Africa who didn't have... This is a... She was born with no... What's the word? Female appendage. She had a mm. rare condition called Moulian agenesis. Mm. So she was born without any appendage and she got pregnant. And they delivered the baby as a C-section and they, all these doctors were trying to figure out how to... How did they? Um, how did she give? How did she get pregnant without mm. having that sort of thing? Mm. Turns out, oh, uh, turns out, uh, she had a stab wound 290 days earlier, and j- right before the stab wound, she'd given fellatio to her partner, right. and an ex had walked in and stabbed her in the stomach, and the semen had gone through the wound into her. What do you call it? The baby maker? The ovaries. And yeah. had impregnated her yeah. and she delivered a baby. No. I don't think I've cap. ever heard. Fact or cap? I've never it's heard cap. anything so ridiculous. Yeah. Cap. <laughs> fact, I'm going to go, it's so out there. I don't think you could have chosen it as a cap that I think it's a fact. Right. Nah, You'd it's be cap. surprised. Oh, well, it is fact. Oh, it is fact. Not. It is fact. Sorry, what country in Africa? Africa. 
Yeah, mm. it is and fact. Some continent. Interesting. That is yeah. crazy. Trish, and while I'm midway through the story, don't try to chime in. And I thought you were going to say she had both reproductive organs and that's how she was in No, no, no. She didn't have a uh, female appendage. Mm. Yes, an opening. And, uh, yeah, freak accident, but I'm, yeah. Nature finds stunned. a way. Uh, yeah, crazy one. <laughs> Third and final one. This is a short one. In most watch ads, they will set the time on the watch to 10 past 10. Fact or cap? In most visual ads? In, all watch, in most watch commercials, when you look at the watch, the hands on the clock, it'll always read 10 past 10. That's cap. That's weird. Yeah. Well, I'll say fact. Cap. How can you... Yeah. Yeah. Your cap? Your fact? I'm going to say fact as well. Well, actually, it's fact. Yeah. It is true. It balances. Yeah. There must be something. The 10, 10. Are you looking at it right now? Yeah. Dave's just Googled pictures of watches and 10 past 10. There's psychology and everything. Yeah. Like that would have some and, sort of trigger. And what it does, it must balance the... Looks nice, balance. Yeah, it yeah. looks yeah, it balances and yeah, yeah. fits perfectly. It well, just it's looks interesting. interesting. Isn't yeah. it funny with the human brain how it works? Hey, do you want to hear shit that uh, your pressure mates at the pub? This one's sure. courtesy of Dave. Did you know the continent of Australia is wider than the moon? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That, 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 it's spot sure? on. There it is. What about the other day? Trish didn't know that Australia was a continent. What are you, what are you talking about, though? That's well, I, when I went to school, it was called Australasia. So they've changed it somewhere along the lines. Is that, is, that, no, is that surprising, Coop? Do you? Australasia is an area. I yeah, Asia is an area. Yeah, yeah Australasia. It used to be called. Is, what that, was, is that actually as a surprising continent? to you? What the moon's the f- like this big, bro. What was the fact again? Uh, yeah, but Jack, Jack, <laughs> it's that big. Jack, you wouldn't believe it. But it's just not It's not across the road. Right? Yeah, no, it's a fair it's way away. It's a fair way away. So me and Trish flew past SoFi Stadium in LA. I said, it's going to be the biggest stadium in the world built there. And she looks over and goes, it doesn't look too big to me. I said, yeah, because we're 30 k's away. No, but do you know why? Because a lot of it's uh, dug underground yeah. as well. You know, so I was actually I remember, not incorrect. I was at, uh, at school, a few of the boys once were trying to work out what was like, they were just asking weird questions. And one of the boys goes, what do you think is close to the moon or Melbourne? And the other <laughs> boy, and we're all laughing. And one of the guys goes, <laughs> can you see Melbourne? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, no. Yeah. Please don't oh, mention his name. Harry Haywood, you are a dud. <laughs> Uh, well, let's go to a quick break and then we'll wrap the podcast up. Okay, welcome back, everybody. It's what you've been waiting for. Young Cooper is uh, performing his song today. Now, it's Hall & Oates based on Hall & Oates Man Eater. Now, you'll remember <laughs> that earlier in the year I did um, – what's his name? Thought Morgan, you should know. Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallens. Thought you should know. Very, very clever mine was. Mm. Matt did um, a take on Bruce Springsteen's I'm on Fire with My Deep Fryer. Mm. Cooper, do you have a name for yours or just... Uh, yeah. I'll just let it be a surprise. Oh, yeah, I wonder what this will be. <laughs> okay. oh, I, I, actually, I'm not going to let it go. I can't get past the fact that you called him Young Cooper. Yeah. Well, it, was like, young. it was like a, a young guest come on the podcast that you've never met before in your life. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I feel like I don't know him. Quiet on the set. Okay, are we saying goodbye now? Yeah, goodbye, yeah. people. See you. Talk to you next week. All right. Go, Coops. Get ready for your ears. Jack, you get you prep. Go I'm, on. I'm just going to be looking at Gav this entire time. Yeah. <laughs> Gav will only come out at night. <laughs> He's a thick and thirsty type. Nothing's new. He smelled poo before. Watching and waiting. Ooh, he's sitting with you, but his eyes are on your drawers. Many have paid to see. What do you think? He'd eat it for free. The man is wild. An untamed dilf with a Persian jaguar. Ass is the matter. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in it for love, you ain't gonna get too far. Whoa, here he comes. Watch out, boy, he'll chew you out. Whoa, here he comes. Gab's an ass eater. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Thanks for listening, guys. Yeah, oh. you ask Peter. Oh, give old ass Not Peter. bad, not bad. Laura, you're like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, it's a high bar. You've got to lift two, man. Oh. Start prepping. Oh, very good. <laughs>